This is going to be a very, very honest art process video. <laughs> Hi, my name is Veronica, aka Vespertidio. I am an Italian comic books author, Tarot and Oracle Dex creator, and your spooky art teacher. It's me again, yours cruelly. And today we're going to have a very honest art process. <laughs> so the purpose of this video is to show you the ugly side, the less glamorous side of all those art process we see on the internet nowadays. I had this idea while thinking of what I call um, informative vlogs. I submitted some of my ideas to you and this was the most requested one. So yeah, that's it. We are going to do this today. This is the day before. I want to play in a scenario where we want to draw, we maybe have to draw, but we don't know what to draw. We have zero ideas right now. We're going to feed our inspiration. I thought a way of doing it while involving you in the process, but I would have had to pick from your suggestions and I didn't want to have much control in this situation um, and so I thought we could just uh, refresh my Pinterest home feed and the first three pictures that come out will be our inspiration and our references for our very honest art process. <laughs> so here we are, it's already refreshing. Okay, oh my god, I love this so much. First three pictures, I think we're going to go with these three. Those are the pictures, these are really great, I have to be honest. So we have this one, which is a detail from a painting of Leonora Carrington, which is an artist that I really, really love. We can actually use it as a reference for the concept of our artwork. I think I can both use the, the pose and also I like this thing that she's like kissing this hanging egg with her nose. I don't know. I think we can go with something like this. So I'm going to save this. Then we have a couple of bugs. I love this. Um, some of you may know that I have two versions of Vespertilio. The regular one and then there is the darker one that has also some hair in front of one of her eyes. She's very mysterious. And so I think I might also use these not only as a reference for something in the drawing, but also as concept to draw both the versions of Vespertilio. So yeah, <laughs> let's just download this. And we have this beautiful black butt flowers. I love that. Lately, I've been saving a lot of like goth plants for goth gardens. This might be why <laughs> this has shown up. But yeah, let me just download this. Yeah, those are our pictures for uh, our very honest uh, art process video. Welcome back. <laughs> Yesterday we've selected our inspiration and references. These were the winners. Then we have this lovely picture of two little bats hanging together and then we have this beautiful butt flower. Next step is starting to draw <laughs> right away. I think I'm going to use just one page and not do like a, a whole spread. I might spread <laughs> out of the single page. Sometimes I cross the, the border of the single page and land some of the details on the other page of the spread. I went a little um, outside with a piece of the wing basically, also here. I went outside a little with the piece. I don't want to miss uh, much details from this flower. It's really beautiful. It's very peculiar and detailed, so I would like to try capture it as much as possible. I think I'm going to go to a new spread and not draw nearby this other drawing, just, just in case. We, we may never know what can happen. <laughs> I went to sleep with a lot of elements those elements and I already have an idea that I'm going to explain in a minute but the truth is that even when I have a clear image of what I want to do most of the time I can't be a hundred percent faithful um, to that idea and so anything can happen and just in case I'm going to draw on uh, a new spread the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my usual uh, midpoints grid so I'm going to find the midpoints and add the diagonals also there is no deep meaningful 
purpose in using a kind of composition grid. Um, it's just that it eases your work. It just makes the art process a bit easier um, to me, at least. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. So as you can see, I'm not really um, satisfied with this line and I'm just erasing it. I think it's important to let other artists know that erasing is fine. <laughs> You'll see how much I erase while sketching. It's perfectly fine, it's perfectly normal and that's part of the art process. So yeah, I want to point out when I erase. <laughs> So now that the grid is ready, I'm just going to start sketch out my idea for the piece. I want to use the pose from Leonora Carrington's painting and mirror it both on the lower and the upper side of the piece and have the two versions of Vespertilio, one at the bottom and one at the top. Then I think I'm going to use the bat flower as a decoration for the background. Also I want to copy the two little bats and use them as decoration again for the rest. We'll see. I think I'm going to use also the egg. That's a very recurrent element well, not that much, it's like the second time I drew an egg. <laughs> I've done this piece that I called Birth of V. It's basically Vespertilio stretching out uh, after being born from a giant egg. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to mm, draw the egg because it came out in our inspirations with the Leonora Carrington piece and I've been drawing it a couple of times at this point and so yeah, why not keep in it and see what comes out of it. Let's sketch our drawing. I am having some difficulties with this pose. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a picture of myself as reference and I'm going to like put it right here somewhere so that you can see. So as you can see I am erasing pretty often. The reason is due to the fact that her face is so synthesized and simple I actually find it really difficult to make her look the same over and over again. I don't know if that makes sense. The nose has to be right, the eyes have to be right, the mouth has to be right. So until I don't see her in the drawing I just keep erasing and keep redrawing her. I need her to feel like her <laughs> for me basically. I'm thinking of changing the pose a little so that I can keep this line on her back. I prefer to cover this part that it's always very messy. Do something with her wings maybe. Let's see, I think this arm is a little long. I think this is not going to show because she has her hair down. So it's going to go like this I think. No, so maybe this part will show eventually. I think I'm going to <laughs> go on the other page just so I can properly show the wings. Yes, I think this looks pretty good. I want to make her hair float a little more and of course the little wings on her head. So I'm going to have to figure out this foot eventually but It was easier than I thought because this is one foot and then there's the other. The little egg in the middle, I have to make it smaller. See, this is why it's important to have the grid. I can see what's the distance from the center and I know the nose, her nose on this other side should be in this point and so the egg must be this big. To make the other one, I'll take a picture of this one and use this one as a reference. Oh. 
I'll try make the pose slightly different because I like to emphasize the fact that they are two different versions of the same character. I have to think of a way to show her on side profile because usually she has a hair covering one of her eyes basically and I can't do it here. So I'll either try to cover that partially and try to show her eye still. I don't know, I'll think of a way to fix this somehow. The cats are having breakfast. <laughs> We're done with the first part of the sketch and now there's a very important step. I'll either look at my piece, at what we have of the piece by now, uh, in a mirror or take a picture, flip it and look for mistakes or things that need to be balanced or stuff like that. So let's do it right now. Let me check the reference real quick. The legs are a little short. Just elongate this part of the legs a little. She too needs this part to be slightly slimmer and have this part show up a little bit more. I think she's fine with the legs here. This needs to be balanced from the lower character, sorry, upper character to the lower character because the space from her knee to this diagonal is smaller than the one that there's here so try to match the same distance i think that's much better so i'm pretty satisfied with what we have by now first i think i'm going to check on the little bats and where maybe i can make them hang from the flower that could be pretty cool I think. So the center of the flower is going to be here and we're going to have those two giant petals hang in the upper half of the composition and then there's this lower one that's going to stay in the lower part and I think we can make the little buds hang from these pieces so I think we can incorporate the buds into the flower. I just decided those are going to be all their eggs hanging out from the flower. <laughs> I love that there are like flowers hanging around and going down right here. I, I didn't notice this the first time, but I'm going to draw those because I think they look so cute and interesting. I think we are done. So yeah, took us almost an hour just for the sketch. Now I think I'm going to take a little break and then we're going to start with inking right away. So we are now going to keep it up with our piece. Next step, of course, is inking. In a way, it's the best part for me it's the most relaxing part i can just think of a lot of other things while i ink a piece on the other hand if i get carried away too much it can become very messy for instance basically i had to use acrylic white paint on his eyes and his nose because i got a little carried away with the inking part and so i had to fix that it's the fun part but also I need to have the right amount of fun. <laughs> I have to be honest I think this is going to turn out pretty good. I have a very good feeling about this piece we're making together. Yeah let's do it! So for the line art, I think I'm going to proceed in the same order as for the sketch. So as you saw, I did first this uh, Vespertilio, then I'm going to do the upper one, then I'm going to do the flower 
and maybe last the beds or maybe I'll do the beds while I do the flower um, I'll see so since this is a very honest <laughs> art process video I think I messed up with their hair I'll just keep it this way I can't do much about it but yeah the point is nobody has to know I'm telling you because uh, we're all artists here it, it's fine we make mistakes the truth is that most of the time we are the only ones who are going to notice those mistakes uh, let's keep going again as you can see I f***ed up <laughs> and those feet oh boy <laughs> So we've done the line art for the piece and as you saw <laughs> I messed up a couple of times. I'm telling you of course because we're all artists here. We make mistakes, I make mistakes, everybody makes mistakes. It looks pretty, I'm still pretty proud of what we are doing right now. The next step is starting to add some hatching to the piece. By now it was 50 minutes for the sketch, half an hour for the line art, then we'll see how long it will take to fully render the piece. I'm going to have another five minutes break and then we are going to get started. With the two vespertilio, I'm going to proceed by elements. So I've just done the hair. I'm going to do the hair of the upper vespertilio, and then I'm going to do maybe the bodice and do it on the upper side too, and so for the wings, etc. And proceed this way. We are done with the girls, it's already been another half an hour. We are now going to proceed with the rest of the piece. So I'm taking a risky move and I noticed there was a lack of flowers in this side. I'm just going to try put something right here going directly with the fine liner. This petal should have been behind those long leaf things. So yeah, I messed up. Here I went too close. Oh, I I don't like this. Mm. Okay, I think I'm going to stop with these leaves right here because I'm afraid I'm going to mess everything up. So since I noticed I didn't explain this, I'm going to, to tell you just now. Uh, for the line art I used the 0.1 fine liner, then for tiny bit more thicker lines like for the wings for example, or for these leaves, long leaves right here, I used a 0.2 uh, fine liner and now for these darker parts uh, I'm using a 0.3 fine liner. we're done <laughs> so i'm actually very proud of this piece i think it looks very good i think it's pretty cool there are some parts that can be adjusted here for instance i think i can work a bit more with values to bring her out a tiny bit more 
but I'm very happy with the result. We're going to vibe with that. <laughs> I really hope you all enjoyed this little art process video. Um, let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I certainly enjoyed making this video. I have to be honest, it was very relaxing and peaceful. I just listened to the environment <laughs> around and I'm very happy with how the pieces turned out. So this was like a very good fun time I had. I also hope the things I said can be helpful to you all. As usual, if you have any suggestions or requests for future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like my content and my videos and you are a fellow artist or a beginner artist that wants to stick around and join our art community, please feel free to subscribe and also don't forget to like this video because it really helps the channel grow. I will see you very soon with more art videos. In the meantime, let's make art. Bye!